a juanie from Sud Medung village, cultivates one hectare of coffee. She expects to harvest over three tons of raw coffee this year, compared to 1.2 tons in the previous crop. The coffee price is currently at its highest for 10 years, despite rising input costs, helping farmers increase their earnings and stabilize production. We began the coffee harvest in November and have hired many people to help. We are happy that the coffee price is nearly two US dollars per kilo, which is higher than the previous crop. We have enjoyed a pump crop this year at a much higher price. I hope the price will be stable next year so that farmers can reinvest in production. Daklak is the country's largest coffee growing area with 210,000 hectares. This year's output is estimated at 500,000 tons of green coffee. Farmers are now entering the peak harvest season. We have developed a plan to hire workers to collect coffee nuts to ensure the harvest is finished while preventing the spread of COVID-19. We have issued documents guiding the coffee harvest and the mobilization of workers. Military forces can be also mobilized to collect coffee to ensure the harvest is finished on time. Douglas has asked organizations and individuals not to harvest undried coffee beans to ensure coffee quality. It has also suggested that farmers prepare dryers in case of prolonged rain.